Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about how to make date and time field required in Salesforce. And we are going to discuss this topic in both the edition in Salesforce Lightning as well as Classic. So before that, here we would like to inform you that we have recently launched a Salesforce course especially for a Salesforce administrator and even if you are a beginner then you will easily understand the topics and the content of the course and here also a limited time offer of 50% discount for the early birds and you will get the lifetime access of the course. You can buy the course through the link that we have mentioned in the description box. This Salesforce admin training course is from beginner to advanced level and also have 9 plus modules with the real business scenarios and have a 21 plus hour of HD videos. And we also provide the course material like PDFs and solutions and one to one doubt clear session and interview preparation session and also give you a certification of completion and also provide internship and placement opportunity so you can sus subscribe this course and learn a lot about this salesforce administrator part so let's move to our topic so this is my salesforce lightning org and here we are going to learn how to make date and time field required in Salesforce Lightning. So for this, we firstly click on the gear icon and click on the setup option. Our setup page is open. Now we click on the object manager tab. Our object manager page is open and under this object manager page, we can see lots of objects are present. But we want to select the event object. So we enter the event in the search box. And we can see our event custom object is present here. So click on this event object. The event object page is open. Now select the field and relationship that is present under the details. So click on this fields and relationship. Our fields and relationship page is open. And under this page, we can see lots of fields are already present. And here we want to select the date and time field. So we scroll. And here we go. We can see there is an event and date and time field are present. And we make this field required. So that's why we click on this field. Our event date and time page is open and we want to make this field required so we click on the added button and our event date and time field comes into the added mode now we can add it anything so we scroll to the bottom and here we can see there is a general option section and under this section we can see there is a required checkbox present which always required a value in this field in order to save the record so that's why we click on the required checkbox and then hit the save button now we come back to our event date and time page and scroll to the bottom here we can see under the general option section the required checkbox is checked now we click on the app launcher and uh, enter the sales in the search box and click on the sales option our sales page is open now we select the event object so we click on the more drop down arrow and search the event object our event page is open here we can see lots of records are already created we want to create a new record so we click on the new button and uh, our new event dialog box is open here enter the event name and then scroll to the bottom here we can see our event date and time field is required and the asterisk sign is shown this show this field is a required field if we do not enter any value inside this field and uh, hit the save button it show the error complete this field this show that 
our event data and time field is a required field. Now move forward and discuss about how to make date and time field required in Salesforce Classic. So for this, we click on the profile picture and uh, here we can see there is an option present switch to salesforce classic click on this option our salesforce classic version is open now select the username drop down arrow and select the setup option now we enter the object in the quick find box and then click on the drop down arrow of the customize and here we go we can see the objects option are present click on this option our custom object page is open and under this custom object page we can see loads of object are created by us and here we want to select the task object so we scroll to the bottom and search the task object here is the task object we click on that our task object page is open now scroll to the bottom here we can see the custom fields and relationship section are present and under this section lots of fields are present and here we want to select the date and time field and uh, here we can see there is a task date and time field which is our date and time data type we want to make this field require so we click on this field our task date and time field page is open now we added this field because we want to make this required so after editing this this field comes into the added mode and when scroll to the bottom there is a general option section present and under this section we can see there is a required checkbox present which always required a value in this field in order to save a record so we want to make this field required we click on the required checkbox and a warning message pop up so read this warning message carefully this show making this field required may break existing api or apex request that do not supply a value for this field so read this carefully and then hit the confirm button and you can see our required checkbox is checked after clicking on the confirm button and then we hit the save button now we come back to our task custom field task date and time page and under this page we can see there is a general option section present and under this section we can see our required checkbox is checked now so with this we have learned how to make date and time field required in salesforce so if this video was helpful click on the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching have a great day